Hello out there internet horde, Zombie Phil here, back with another episode of Enshrouded. I just thought I'd start with doing a little base work this morning. Um, first thing I want to do is basically pull up all of this... Go. I want to put a proper uh, path in here, just like the one there, to make it look like it uh, flows properly. And I just saw a video on how to do that, so... That all lines up there nicely. Bring out this and... I might even see if I can get it to... Yeah, there we go. All the way down to the wells here. Over to here. I like that a lot. And then we can bring it over here. Ooh, okay, so that's, uh, not liking that I might have to actually put some dirt in that spot. Bring it up to there, that's nice. Okay, for some reason it's not filling that hole. Um, I thought it should be able to. Uh, maybe because I went too deep there. Uh, let's have a look. I think I've got some dirt in a container over here. soil there. Uh, actually, there should be dirt over in the... over in here. Okay, this shouldn't take too much of this. So, if I switch over to this now, should be able to bring the grass in there like that, and then That should level that out. There we go. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. I just even this up a little bit, just so it looks like the gradient's down a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. Remember correctly, I think you can rotate the tool there. Mm, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get that step out of it completely, but it should be all right. Yeah, there we go. And then over here, I wanted to get rid of this little bump in the road here. Can't seem to get rid of that bit of uh, grass, though. I do it from the other side, maybe. Yeah, there we go. up here. I'll leave that because it goes to the enshrouded area anyway. And now my area is more seamlessly worked into the uh, environment. You know, I might just touch up this bit here a little bit. I don't mind this little area being a little uh, interesting because people might shortcut across it. Seems to be very hit or miss where it actually selects, like what texture it selects. Yeah, and maybe just down a little bit down to the side of the farm.
There we go. And I might just uh, bring it in a little bit here. And a little bit here. Just so it's not so straight. Yep, there we go. Okay, I'm really enjoying that. Now that I know how it's done. Just repair on all of my tools and stuff. Just realized I've pulled the uh, ground out from under here. Come over to here and actually... There you go, that looks a little bit better. Some water and I see if I can make some more potions. Here yeah, that should reset my rested bonus. Do I have any skill points? No, I don't. Okay, 39 minutes. That's plenty of time. Uh, now, that's right, I moved the alchemist over here. I do intend on making him his own little uh, building. Actually, I've got a kind of spot. Not building. Um, he's gonna, I'm gonna put him down here in the glowing room. There. This will be his room with his cauldron and everything. And I've set up some bookshelves. I'll probably try to make up some books. But I'll have to go out and actually source some of the pages and stuff. Yes, uh, can he make me some potions? Uh, what am I missing? It's a chamomile? Not for long. Yeah, that should be 10. That should be 50 flax. That should be, uh, not flax, that should be 50 of the chamomile, so that'll do me for now. As for health potions, make 10 more of those, bring me up to 20. Now, I think the bandages, I can make the standard ones, but I think she makes the clean bandages. I only have one antiseptic. Catch you later. That is just a regular bandage, and I have eight of the, uh, that should do for now. I definitely do need to work on my storage solutions. I can make the uh, larger uh, larger containers, so I'll probably get to that eventually. Um, I'm also running a little low on arrows. Three more lots of those, that's another 150, that should do. Okay, let's have a look where I need to go. Got a Vuka encampment there. A heap of shroud roots. The phrase tavern. Obelisk. And the well blocks over there. It's a shroud root. That's another shroud root. And a cove. Yeah, well, I think I'm going to head over to the tavern, this obelisk, and the well blocks. So let's start here. Uh, let's just make sure I did actually make myself the... Yeah, the better glider. Right. I believe there is also a teleport point over here somewhere, so I might even head that way. I'm set on the laboratory at the moment, so I think that's close to where that teleport point is.
Right, here we are at the first hint, I believe. An adventure. I hear those wings beating. And here's the obelisk. Or here's an obelisk, I should say. Should be able to turn day into night here if there is a single bed. Not 100% sure if I'm supposed to be up or down at this point, but I'm going down. Bit higher level than me, but uh, still didn't stop me from shooting it to death. here. Bones in the sand, huh? I didn't loot around here. Yeah, location is up. Oh, hello. Oh, I can't get a shot on you, can I? You're going to be painful. Get some space between me and him. And down he goes. is scientific instruments there we go so that'll be for the uh, the alchemist another note up here Whoop. that was a weird camera angle okay good to know these um these things are just magpies. They just collect everything in their nests. Everything shiny. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Good way of wasting all my mana there. Right, what do we got here? Family tavern. Let's head down that way. Which I think is this way. Okay, so we've got a little cave here. I visit to Brittle Bush. Oh, is that an actual well? No, it's not an actual well. Plenty of these little uh, critters in here, though. That was chest. I don't know if these experience scrolls stack or what they specifically do. Let me have a quick read. It's not that one, it's that one. In a small amount of experience upon absorbing. Okay, so it is just a. You just read them and they just give you experience. Okay, and then there's this ancient obelisk over here, which I actually think is up there. 
So I'm going to try to find my way up. Maybe there'll be something near this uh, construction point or wall, I guess. Does look like there should be a way up on the scaffolding. Weird little cave up here with a huge sulfur node in it. I'll just quickly grab some of this. And there's the next obelisk. Alright, let's see if we can get these well blocks. Okay, pretty sure the well blocks are gonna be where there's a well, even though it said the location was over yonder. It's probably underneath. Um, so let's get down here. I'll have to kill myself on the way down. Uh, we have more of these. Uh, Petrified people, I think is the best way of describing it. They're hard to tell if they're actually people or... Uh... We got quite a few of them. I knew this was a trap. And naturally there's the uh, the guy that petrifies everything. I saw you over there. That's the way. Stand down there and take my arrows. Ah! Get the bugs. I didn't think you'd be able to summon them out of the ground. Don't stop climbing down the stupid area.
I just thought I was just shooting for 300. It's like if you can hit him in the blue veins, it does more damage. And down he goes. Right, get caught up on the corpse of the boss. Ah, exploiting permanent boss corpses for the win. They don't see it as a pathing obstacle, so they're not trying to jump over, up over the top of it. Those were just, uh... Oh, those ones are. Okay, let's put this down so I don't die of shroud exposure. This is where the boss was hiding. And there's the well blocks. Whoops, and uh, full inventory. Let's salvage that and that. Let's just delete the arrows, the useless, useless arrows. Nothing else over there. Let's go up the other direction that I didn't come from. So that's where I came from. This is where I didn't come from. Not sure what happened to the other one. Big armored follower. That's him there. Oh, ow. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha with the explosion. Okay, I think I'm out of here now. I've had enough of the uh, bugs. And to be honest, I should probably just... Teleport out. Back to home for now, I think. Back to the right home. Okay, quickly walk around. And you, you just, this just put down one, or is this an actual crafting station? The laboratory, which requires the scientific instru instruments. So you're going to need one of these, which requires bronze and glass. Right, okay, I'm not up to making that just yet. And just make sure nobody else has anything to say to me. 
like this guy, about the well blocks. You don't have anything to say to me. And neither do you. Okay, well. That is going to be it for right now. I hope everybody's enjoying what you're seeing. If you are, hit a like on the video. If you want to come back and see more, remember to subscribe to my channel and come and get your zombie fill. I'll catch us then.